Queen's University Belfast 2020. Welcome to our Campus Connect video, pre-semester for you to start your Queen's wellbeing journey. We welcome also to the Student Guidance Centre, commonly known as the SGC. Within the Student Guidance Centre, you'll find a range of services aimed at student wellbeing and support. For example, ourselves within Student Wellbeing and Disability, Student Counseling Service and Drop-in Services also. My name's Rob. And my name's Megan and we are here Monday to Friday and we can help you throughout your QUB wellbeing journey. Today we will introduce you to a few places in and around the Queen's campus that will help you on your wellbeing journey, some hand-picked hotspots. Each of our hotspots are related to our Take 5 Steps to Wellbeing. The five steps are connect, be active, give, take notice, so join us now on a quick QUB journey around some of our hotspots. And keep alert as we would like as many students as possible to take selfies at the various locations and upload them to us via social media. I think I'd take a selfie now. Get the ball rolling. A great place to meet people, get involved and be part of is the Student Union. Student life starts here. You have access to the shop, advice SU, student officers and clubs and societies, a great place for making friends and connecting. Good relationships and friendships are important for your mental well-being. They can help you build a sense of worth and belonging. They can also give you an opportunity to share positive experiences with friends and colleagues and fellow students. Right Rob, up you get, we have work to do, keep it going. independent cinema, the QFT, under the take notice element of the five steps to wellbeing. Queen's Film Theatre, or the QFT as it is locally known, is a unique cultural venue with over 50 years of experience in bringing high quality films to Belfast audiences. The QFT is also a friendly, intimate cinema that values its audiences. Why not take a look at their programme in the links contained within our description below. Here we are at Botanic Gardens, another gem to take notice of right on your QUB doorstep. It's home to the Palm House and the Tropical Ravine. The Victorian Palm House contains a range of tropical plants, hanging baskets, seasonal displays and birds of paradise. The building was designed by Sir Charles Lanyon, who also helped design parts of QUB. The Tropical Ravine contains some of the oldest seed plants around today. It offers tranquility in the city and is a must visit for students taking a welcome breather from the library and other studies. Under the keep learning element of the five steps to wellbeing is the McClay Library. The fabulous Maclay is one of Queen's libraries where you are sure to benefit when you keep learning steps to wellbeing. Maclay has learning spaces, PCs, study space, journals, books, a lounge. It also features the Hope Cafe where you can get a quick cup of tea or coffee and the C.S. Lewis reading room. The Maclay is also filled with fantastic help and staff with accessibility and extended opening hours for your late night study. Also under Keep Learning, we are in Botanic Avenue. Botanic is a hub for cafes, bars, restaurants, shopping, and here we are, of course, the oasis known as No Alibis Bookshop. An independent bookstore opened in 1997 and no stranger to students visiting, browsing, or ordering those hard to find books. Get to now, head in a book, I suppose. Come on, Rob, 
Glad to see you're looking after your learning, but it's time to go. We have a few more places to visit. Under the Be Active element of the Five Steps to Wellbeing, we have the Queen's Physical Education Centre, locally known as the PEC. From beginner to seasoned trainers, Queen's PEC has a class or facility to meet your needs. With a range of membership options, classes, supportive staff, this place is definitely worth visiting on your Be Active Steps to Wellbeing. Okay, so we're here at Queen's PEC and I have with me Andrew Rayburn who is the Fitness and Wellbeing Officer for the PEC. So Andrew, in terms of the concept of being active in conjunction with wellbeing, what services are available here at Queen's PEC for staff and students? Absolutely. Um, here at the PEC we offer a wide range of programmes um, for all ages, abilities and levels. Um, we offer, at the minute, a reduced timetable, about 75 classes per week. We usually we're in full flow about 96 classes per week, which is one of the most extensive in the UK and Ireland. Uh, we offer wellbeing programs for staff and students, specific to our students to get them more active, to improve their mental health. Again, we have a variety of programs for a diverse range of individuals, so there's something for everybody here at the PEC. Andrew, what, in your opinion then, um, what are the benefits of physical activity from being active in relation to wellbeing? I suppose, what advice would you give them to people who are starting out their journey in terms of being active? Yeah, absolutely. I believe we do offer a wide range of programs here at the PEC, so there's something for everybody, whether you're just starting out, whether you've been an active gym goer, whether it's a yoga, Pilates class, going to the gym. There's a social element as well, which is massively beneficial. You can meet new people in your class, you can socialise. Um, and alongside that, we do offer the wellbeing specific programs, so obviously you have the benefits for your physical health and your mental health as well. So to be honest, you know, whether you're starting out, whether you're an avid gym goer or you're an Olympic champion, there's something here for everyone. And I have with me now Teresa Reid. Teresa is the Active Campus Coordinator for Queen's University of Belfast. Teresa, in relation to the Active Campus programme, tell us a bit about that and why it's beneficial for students when we're thinking about wellbeing. So Active Campus, our slogan for Active Campus is find your entry point. So whether you're new to a sport or sport you've never done or maybe you played it at school but haven't played it in quite a while and um, we have programs in place for you to get back into it. Don't forget to take selfies at some of our hotspots. We want to see you visiting these great places. That's it Rob, now it's time for us to go and look after our own well-being and have lunch in the junction. It's your treat this time. Thanks for listening everyone and for watching this video. We've only just scratched the surface of the many wonderful places you can visit whilst you're here. Come and visit us at the SGC for further advice and guidance. I hope you now have a better mental map of Queen's University Belfast and the places you can visit to help take care of your own self-worth, well-being, staying active and connected during your days at Queen's University. Thank you.